Hi, uh, my name is Josh Brzezzi. I play in a band called With Confidence from Sydney, Australia. And I am here doing some cooking at 65 miles an hour today. So uh, I guess I'll get started. We're going to do burgers. Uh, it's something I cook all the time to save money. Uh, we cook a lot. All three of the guys cook a lot. We got two vegetarians and one vegan. So we do a lot of cooking. And we got a gas stove on the RV, which is sick. Uh, unfortunately the power isn't working, the generator died two days ago, so we're doing this without the generator, so it's just going to be a burger, no side, but yeah, we'll get into it, it should be fun. So we're in the middle of an American tour right now, uh, we just came up, we are in Chicago today, uh, we're on tour with our friends Broadside doing a co-headline, uh, it's both bands first time headlining in the US, it's been really fun, today's show is actually sold out, which is awesome. Uh, we've had a couple of sellouts, which has been really good, and we have Sleep On It and Small Talk Supporting, who are both great. Check them all out, they're all great bands. So, it's a burger, so I'm pretty much just going to be throwing in everything I can find. That's what I like to do. I'm vegetarian, so I throw in lots of veggies. Um, I've got, I'm going to mash, uh, mash some avocado, uh, throw some avocado on there. I'm going to cut up some onion, we're going to fry some onions. Uh, I've got some capsicum, well I've got half a capsicum from the last time I was cooking. Gonna fry that off too. Got some parsley, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it, but we're gonna try and do something with it. Some cheese obviously, because we like cheese on our burgers. I'm gonna do fried eggs, tomato, and garlic was for mushrooms, and hopefully I have mushrooms. If not, no mushrooms, we'll see how we go. I've got a veggie patty, uh, these are pretty good. I've made them for people who aren't vegetarian before and not told them that they're veggie, and sometimes I fool people, so. I don't know, they got them at Walmart everywhere, they're not like a real gourmet brand, they're pretty cheap. You can pick them up for like five bucks and they do the job. You will notice that it is named. Uh, sometimes food goes missing, you got six people living in a small space, they get hungry. Uh, so I've stolen food and I've had food stolen and so I like to name things so that when my food goes missing, people know who they're stealing from and they can't say they didn't know it wasn't theirs. So. I'm a tight ass. I don't know. <laughs> I named my food. <laughs> we use spray oil. Uh, I generally like, I'm Italian, so my parents always cooked with like olive oil. And um, it's just, someone sleeps right here. So if we cook with olive oil, everyone goes a bit nuts on the oil and oil splatters all over their pillows and stuff. And that sucks. And they get oily hair. And then we look gross because we're band guys living out of a van. So. We've, uh, we've moved to spray oil, and it's, so far we are pretty happy with how it's going. What am I doing here? I'm making a mess. So, I just picked up this onion down the street from like this little uh, organic grocery, and half the stuff in there was definitely rotting. They actually had a rotting section where you could buy rotting produce for cheaper. Like, I, like I'm not talking like, you know, you got some funky looking shapes and stuff. Like, it was just straight up tomatoes and a rotten. So, if you want some rotten tomatoes, you can find this place. It's around the corner from Bottom Lounge. The guy was really nice, so I don't want to flame his business too much. It was really cute. And I did find some onions and some avocados, which was very helpful. But, yeah, they were selling some rotten fruit, which was kind of a little bit how you're going, as we say in Australia, which pretty much means dodgy. You guys don't say dodgy either. Um, sketchy would probably be the American equivalent for how you're going. I'm not going to cook all this onion, but I'm going to cut it all, because why not? Sick. Okay, uh, we'll start frying stuff. So I'm going to get that going. So, the little stove is pretty awesome. It runs out of gas every few days, because we cook a fair bit, and also I think the heating system runs off it, which has been really important, because I think it's negative, I use Celsius, it's like negative 3 degrees today. And everyone in Chicago has told me that that is not cold. They've told me it's a very mild day and it was a really nice day. And I just don't believe them. Look at that. That's already down now. We already got it. Uh, so yeah, I just straight up don't believe them because it's literally freezing. Freezing is zero degrees and we're at negative three. So they're lying. And that's all I have to say about that. Everyone here is way tougher than me. I was really cold. I went out and I bought... Um, both gloves. And that's a train going over us because we're under a train line right now, which is kind of fun. That should be heat on it. Um, we'll get this patty in here as well. I'm just going to go ahead and make two because why not? That would be safe. 
two means that we have a backup in case I do anything wrong. It doesn't hurt to have a plan B, you guys. It's a, it's a good, good thing to do in life. Whoa. It's actually the least stacked our freezer has been so far. Uh, we're doing pretty well. Um, I'm going to fry the capsicum as well, because why not? So let's do that. If I can get to it. Yeah, we call this capsicum in Australia. Um, we kind of break the rules. Sometimes we go with England and sometimes we go with the US. So like, for instance, this is a capsicum. And then I've been really disappointed a few times actually buying burgers here because it says it comes with chips. And I'm expecting fries, but you guys do burgers with um, literal like crisps, like potato chips. Um, I think that the UK has the best method for that because they call they call chips crisps and then they call hot chips chips. And in Australia, I should stir that. Too. In Australia, we just um, we call everything chips, which I guess gets kind of confusing. But um, for us, that's not a big deal. I don't know. Everything's just chips in Australia. Oh yeah, I'm just gonna. I've got seeds everywhere because I'm not doing the best job, but that's fine. We're getting somewhere. That should be good. I'm gonna throw that in as well, actually. So I'm not up. Sick. Um, while well, that's happening. Are you fucking saying this? What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> That's not how you cut an avocado! There's no rule. Yes, there is! Can I tell you, uh... <laughs> can I tell you... Are you gonna... Can I give you a reason for cutting an avocado like this? Oh, so it looks okay. like pineapple? Mathematically, if you cut an avocado this way, the surface area is the maximum possible surface area, and that area is gonna go brown. I only want to use half an avocado. If I cut it this way, I only lose this much going brown. So tomorrow, you have less avocado than... Yeah, you know what else? Maths are for losers. There you go, you heard it first. Math is for losers. Yeah. So... You heard it. There you go. I, I mean... Is that, is that, is that part of the, the, the seed? In yes. Your, in your avocado? It is. It's wow. not a good avocado. That was a good fucking cut, man. You should cut like that more often. It's not a good avocado. Mm -hmm. Wait, I have, I've had backup that this is not a good avocado. <laughs> what an idiot! <laughs> Yeah, it's got a seed, it's a fruit, right? What, what are the things that make a fruit a fruit, any? We don't know what the difference between fruits and vegetables are. And if you know, please tell us in the comments. Because we are uneducated. Yeah. Un 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 yeah. We're trying to work it out. We're working real hard here. <laughs> We've got two, two of the brightest brains brightest. working on this problem. Brightest. And we cannot... Yep. Between us, we know how to cut an avocado. I don't want to... The two of us. It takes two of us, but... I, I know how to cut an avocado, obviously. Look, I know how to cut an avocado. I've done a few things different so far than I would normally do, and I'm like... I don't know why. I'm, I'm going to chalk it down to nerves. I've never been nervous cooking before, and I'm nervous. I don't think you've ever cooked before, bro. Hey, come on, Annie. That's a lie. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I sort of know what I'm doing with this parsley. I, Wait, I let me see if we have mushrooms. I know I had we, I had mushrooms, but we had a really big purge uh, because the fridge was stinky and they're gone. So you know I, 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 I understand. Get in here and I'm gonna get some of this. <laughs> this guy, this guy's getting his dinner. See, look, it's, it's a community. Yeah, this is, this is this is. You got some recycling now? Yep, yeah. we job. recycle. Uh, uh, to we our try. I think it we is. do our best. Yeah. We like recycling. Well, most of us like recycling. Everyone else just gets frustrated because it gets it, it gets effort. in the way of everything, which is very true. All right. Anyways, these have been cooking for a while now. They're starting to get pretty brown. They're grilling. We're chilling. I'm gonna put some cheese on these guys. I like to get cheese up on the burger, and then what I like to do is throw the onions on the cheese, and it kind of all melts together, and that is a, a good vibe. And then I'm gonna quickly crack an egg in. And I'm gonna try and get a fried egg going as well. 
this is the most annoying slice of cheese that I've ever encountered though. I don't know if anyone's seeing the struggle. We're just gonna put that on there like that. This show, <laughs> things are going real good. We are crushing it. I'm gonna put this on high. That's the high. <laughs> the high setting sounds a little worse than the low setting. Uh, <laughs> where'd Innie go? He's bailed. Innie's, Innie's MIA. He's I, I, I don't want part of this shit. Innie's quitting. Innie's quit the band. It's, you know. Why not cook? Buddy, you know that I know how to cook. What I should have done is not. <laughs> <laughs> That's so fucking funny. Annie, can you help with the thing, please? Alright, I'm taking 50% of your burger. You can have one, I'm making two. Oh. Why? I can do that for you. <gasps> There's eggs? Yes. Alright, sick of me. There you go. Where's the pineapple? That's some of the community that we want. I didn't get pineapple. I couldn't even find mushrooms, dude. Uh, where does it go? What do you mean? To get all this stuff. What was the place called? The Green Grocer. That thing was green. That was a lie. I really like the guy who runs the business though, so again, I'm not going to flame his business. He was just... He, I relate to doing your best, you know? <laughs> Sometimes you As do you your best. As you can see. Sometimes you do your best, and it's... And you, when and you don't succeed? Are you trying to court Coldplay? And you just... Yeah. See? Yeah. Sometimes yeah. you try your best to say a quote that makes people feel better about trying their best, and you can't even do that. You, you so, I'm just trying to get this egg cracking. This is a uh, industry trick. All the chefs do it. Uh, I'm using the steam to hurry this egg up, because I want to flip it. Hurry this egg up. Yeah. That's so English. That's... More chef terminology, you wouldn't have to say it. It's okay. Um, Let's in, hurry in my, this egg up, in my bro. haste, in my haste, I have realized that I don't have lettuce. So this is going to be a lettuce and burger. Are you on board with that? I don't give a fuck. Okay, it's food. It's free. Let's there go. You go. Um, Could you do me a favor and get the mayo and the barbecue out of the fridge? You want the pizza to put it on? It's probably a good idea. Yeah. Like, like I wouldn't say no to it. I'm gonna try and flip this egg and see what happens. This is the action right here. Now the good thing about cooking uh, an egg for a burger is you don't want it too runny anyway, so it's okay if you break an egg. Generally, when you're cooking eggs, you break an egg and it sucks. It's a bad time. But when you, yeah, it egg, depends on what kind of eggs you want. Yeah, for a burger, you don't want too runny an egg, because otherwise, when you it, take, it, it you depends take your how soft you want it. And it just ruins it. Ruin it. it. Yeah. Where is? Oh, you already got barbecue. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. man. Very helpful. Do you, want, you don't like tomato, <laughs> but I like tomato. So I'm gonna put some tomato on mine. You're Italian. You have to like. I do. That's true. Is this? Uh, do we have any comments? Tomato sucks. Yeah, wait, where the fuck are you? Bro. That's my comment. Bro, this is a good knife. You no, know, you shouldn't cut your thumb I've off. blamed the tomato and the knife. This is another thing that I learned as a musician. When something goes wrong, blame someone first else. you blame the, the gear. If you can't get away with blaming the gear, like, if the gear is clearly fine, you blame someone else. And if you can't blame anyone else, I don't know, you, you're kind of in a pickle, but you, there's ways around admitting that you're doing a bad job at this. <laughs> like when the click comes through the front of the <laughs> house, front of the uh, front of house. Yeah, you blame blame the cable, <coughs> which is what I did the other day, and it worked out. Yeah. And now I still have the same cable. I still have the same cable. So today when click again comes out to the audience who do not want to hear click, uh, I'm going to blame the cable and not take responsibility. If anyone, if anyone who designs RVs is watching this, I hate the way you design this lack well, of Well, technically, there's top. supposed to be a table. Yeah, I didn't make it. Yeah, um, exactly. So I'm, right. I'm going to go ahead and blame oh. someone else for that. That's that's the vibe today. Anyway, we should get we should get this happening. I think I'm going to do... I'm going to turn this off before everything burns. No, it's good. That's done. We can turn that off. 
Uh, that seems exactly what I said. Now, I was... I actually did put some research into this episode. I was reading the correct audio meant to stack a burger. There is a correct order. I actually did forget. Um, Man, so, just put it together. So, I would probably start with the patty. How do you feel about that? Uh, when you put the sauce on the thing first, See, you that's, fucking eat it. The thing I read Sorry. was that you put... You put ketchup and mustard on the bottom and then anything like mayo on the top with like the salads. Yeah, but, but Are you put putting ketchup or barbecue on yours? It's up to you. Like you... See, this is... What I would do is put your sauce, but like I double up on sauce. Can you barbecue me too? Well, get it on the pan, man. What? I said get on the pan. Get it? Oh, God. Anyway, I don't get it. Because <laughs> you said barbecue me too. Oh, terrible. Bruh. And then that sucks. Yeah. Well, so does your car. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and then I think these look fantastic. Yeah, you did alright. So I would pay twenty-seven dollars. You want? Do you want mayo bun. as well? What do you mean? On the top of your bun? Uh, yes. I would like some mayo. It's actually vegan mayonnaise. We do have a vegan living with us, so we've got vegan mayonnaise. I mean, this tastes. Everyone can this have some mayonnaise. This tastes pretty fucking good. It's pretty good. I would give it a 7 out of 10, as far as mayonnaise goes. And I feel like mayonnaise is pretty consistent anyway. Like, you never, no, you never really have mayonnaise and you're like, this is terrible. Uh, my mum does eat whole egg mayonnaise. I don't know why, but that stuff's kind of gross. What's, what's the difference? I don't what's know. Half egg mayonnaise? It just... <laughs> what? I don't know what it is, but I'm just saying that, like, whole egg mayonnaise, it's not, it's not the go for me. I, I'm personally not a huge fan. You don't want tomato on yours, do you? I want tomato. I'm gonna put tomato on mine. Here you go. We're getting somewhere. It's looking like a burger, looking like a snack. If I could just get those two tomatoes to hang out and on top of the burger, that would be fantastic. I'm gonna spill the avocado yeah, too. Oh. You don't get any avocado. You well, can cut some more if you'd like some. Good luck yeah, with I, the seed. Try to cut it's it a real if difficult it was scene. Fucking normal. It's a real difficult scene. God. It's gonna give you trouble. Well, can we zoom in on him struggling with the avocado? Yeah, well, you, if you didn't <laughs> fuck it up in the first place, it wouldn't be a problem. Nice, a nice close-up of any. God damn it, man! You what look is like this you're shit? A tough time. Yeah, because you really fucked up behind my the camera. God damn avocado! You know what I'm doing like this? Screw you, Josh. <laughs> look, see how easy that was <laughs> when you do it normally. That looks fantastic. Thank you. Um, we got some. Do you want to put some herbs on your burger? I uh, so. At the start of every tour, we just pick like three herbs. Um, the three herbs that were chosen on this. We had cinnamon, that was from Thanksgiving. We, we did some sweet potato on Thanksgiving, but that's all that's getting used for. I don't know what we're gonna do with our cinnamon. But we went for a chili powder so that we could make things chili and spicy. That's always a good. In the past, we've usually gone for. Um, Is this avocado? What's it called? Oh my gosh, what's that spice called? Generally, we've gone for cayenne pepper. We, we mixed it, it up. Supposed to be really good. For we you, by the we way. mixed it up with this, and I'm pretty happy with this decision. This goes great on things like eggs and anything like that. Mixed. Mm -hmm. It's good. Um, Italian seasoning. Well, I'm Italian, and it's it's gonna be this or oregano. We say oregano in Australia, but I picked up on saying oregano. I was actually ordering a coffee yesterday, and I said mocha to the girl who I was ordering the coffee from. I was like, can I get a mocha? And she had no idea what I was saying. I, I ended up saying mocha. And then I got a mocha. And onion powder, onion salt. I don't know who picked onion salt. I but picked onion salt. It's good. Honestly. You put that shit on your eggs, it's I put a it good on, time. I put it on everything, yeah. And it's been really good so far. I'm just going to put salt and pepper on mine. Keep it traditional. Salt and pepper is always a good vibe. And uh, you know what? It's a burger. We're getting there. I'm going to pop the lid on. I think it's complete. That that looks like something you would see in a magazine, I think. She's beautiful. Maybe if I uh, take this down, we can display it. Can you hold that for a sec? Are you done sure. with your burger? Your one doesn't look as good as mine, which is really well, funny. Cause yeah, the, because you fucked it up. <laughs> you're the better this was second priority. This was the burger I was working on. Oh, and I you think stole that was it, my one. Son of a bitch. You can put your one there too. Where's your burger lid? Huh? Oh, it's in your... <laughs> You, you slice the other See, you could try and mash and the other, which was my original plan was to mash it, but it's not ripe. So the other is not ripe, and it's on my burger. So the thing about cooking on tour is that 
It's hard, and it doesn't go to plan, but improvising is a great skill for both the musician and the chef, and today we improvised, and we came out, we came out with something pretty beautiful. It's, it's lacking in lettuce, and I would have loved for there to be some garlic mushrooms, but I'm pretty happy with that. So to summarize what we've got here, I went for some rolls today. I think they're brioche rolls. Yeah. They look pretty nice to me. They were in the store that I was at earlier today. We've got the veggie bun. It's a, it's a griller, which is kind of just like, it's meant to taste like a meat patty. Uh, I've gone for some pepper jack, no, not pepper jack, Colby jack cheese. What's this stuff called? Colby and Monterey jack. Colby jack cheese. It's good. It's two colors, which I like, and that looks really nice. We've got some uh, red bell peppers, I guess you guys call them. I was going to say capsicum again, and we got some grilled onions. We've whacked an egg on there, fried egg, thrown some... Uh, parsley on the egg which is good i put parsley on everything again i think that's my italian mom just told me to put parsley on everything tomato some avocado that is not ripe but it looks pretty good from a distance so that's what we're going for there because i couldn't mash it mayo and then we've got barbecue sauce on the bottom she's done would you eat it i think you would yeah you probably would if you're really hungry and there's nothing else you'd be wishing you had one of these what do you got there, Annie? Oh, uh, I have basically the same thing, but <laughs> without tomato, because I don't like tomato. And, I mean, if it were up to me, I'd add, like, a nice slice of pineapple. Yeah, like pineapple, pineapple. would have been good with the barbecue. Ugh. Pineapple like, and some mushrooms. Mushrooms, or like... We're lacking in the mushrooms. Like those angry onion rings, like deep fried. Ooh, yeah. If only we had a deep fryer on the bus. Next time, next tour. Anyway, we're in Chicago tonight. We're going to be on stage in about an hour and a half, I think. Uh, we're pr pretty much towards the end of this US tour, but we actually mm. do have plans to come back next year around February, March. So keep an eye out for that. We're going to be announcing that at the end of this tour. Um, we have an album out called Love and Loathing that's been out for about five Some months time. now. So if you haven't yet, check that out. Um, check out all the bands on the tour. They're all fantastic. Drop us a line at any of our social medias, uh, probably Instagram and Twitter, because Facebook's kind of dead these days, and Mark Zuckerberg sucks. Uh, so, with that, I think that's all bases covered. We're going to take a bite out of these ginormous burgers. Try. We'll I'm going to squish it down a bit, good. which is always a good Bro, tactic with burger eating, weird. so that you can fit it in your mouth. And then, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go two-handed. I'm going to go in. Are you ready? Uh -huh. Cheers, Annie. All right, Thanks, man. guys. Ready? Thank you for joining us. Cheers. Mmm, solid. That's really good. Yeah, yeah, not so bad. Thank you so much. It was a blast. Thank you, Josh. Bad.